Hello dear friends, I'm really happy to be here today and I'm greeting you, the subscribers, the followers of one Salesforce 101 channel. With this media video, we are opening up a new uh, playlist, I would say. Why? Because Spring 25 is coming. I will help you to get prepared. I will share you details, the calendar of Winter 25, step by step. Because this release update is not a thing that comes just within a night, but there are many different steps that you should know and also get prepared. Let's get started. As you know, those release notes, release updates is not just for certain group of people but indeed that covers and includes all salesforce lovers right because if you don't get updated with the salesforce features either way you just get lost at some way for your company for your colleagues for your career you need to be updated right you need to be up to date with salesforce as you know that this agent force is a result and a product of winter 25 so and there is a big 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 flame with agent force so it is always good to know like what is the way and an approach towards those salesforce releases and my point is with my latest role in my new company is a sort of salesforce release manager it's not a being manager but still like i am a responsible for salesforce releases that's why uh, i think i am the correct person you should follow and subscribe and then get the updates from because my only responsibility will be just going deep with the salesforce releases understanding whether that's re relevant of course what i come up with would not be relevant with your company and then your products but still the core functionality sales service and then this platform itself uh, from the perspective of development right this apex lwc flows and those covers the platform itself that's why that touches all the users one by one i will show you and the proper web page even like and where to see it how to click how to get signed up and i'll try to explain it let's get started the most important uh, i think the the sharing here that i would like to just emphasize is this trailblazer community so you should be part of this community to get updated with each information related to salesforce releases yeah the, for example as you see release readiness trailblazers yeah and when you see this group information you see i click show more and you see the dates for spring 25 yeah as i mentioned there is a stages pre-release org release notes send back preview and this uh release matrix release site release readiness live and all the dates are here so first of all you should be get prepared for december 19 and you have 12 more days for the first step of spring 25 yeah at that proper appropriate date you can simply go to what here this site at the moment this is active for winter 25 and you see sorry and uh, it is already over yeah it is closed but i think when when you change at that time and you don't have to change the URL, but it, it, that's an example because you can just click when you, when you go to this website, you see that that's, that's available and then you, you can create your own. Second thing that I would like to show you, on the left bar, you see Salesforce Winter 25 release notes. So you have the release notes here, just with all pages, sub pages, and you can really come here and then check Salesforce overall. Okay, let's check what Salesforce overall. And Salesforce general enhancements, Salesforce like Einstein and, and so on, general enhancements. You can either go one by one and let's say inbound email limit increased. 
I shown you release notes and right now I can uh, give you additional information about this sandbox preview so of course Salesforce Ben shares the details right here this is for Spring 25 sandbox preview information it says that yeah it says that if yours is preview or non-preview instance just keep an eye out for details on sandbox previews but it seems like most sandbox will get updates around this date so get prepared maybe for this spring 25 releases the next part is this release overview deck and let me show you this one this is the yeah you see you see this presentation yeah there are i think yes 500 and 16 slides exist here you can go one by one but uh you see yeah i think that's really big benefit to be aware of what will come at what date yeah and before my role i i didn't know it i didn't know this but as a salesforce developer architect admin and doesn't matter your role and you should be i think up to date with this information that's why it's really crucial you have the table of content you can simply check your own interest and then click on and then go to that slide that's really easy and quick yeah thank you salesforce second thing you can download it as pdf and then you can make your research there and the other topic is this feature matrix when you go to this group information you see this up to date spring 25 dates but also but also you have um winter 25 resources yeah you can click here everything here everything is here in under this group information simple one resource you can go for example when you click release notes you are redirected to the web page for release notes yeah the same page i shown you yeah the same page yeah i don't want to wait that's the same page also here release feature matrix when you click you see this overview so from here you can click this one and then you can download it when you download it you are having this overview yeah and you see k color legends here you have some categories right the green one is items for immediate impact for all users if it is for all users so either way doesn't matter what cloud you are working on you are somehow affected yeah that's why filtering according to filter by color and let's say that filtering by color and then is reading it right that would be really i think really really awesome to just read the content touches your org your your company it is really up to you but the most important i think part is this product family yeah you can many many products here you can just filter filter them out and right now you are displaying 16 different ones but you don't want to see let's say that revenue plot you can just filter it and then you have less but you can also clear all 16 clear and just bring me the development ones okay so you see developments touches to all users lightning design system component blueprints and update references for visual for pages salesforce platform api version is changed etc and sub product api visual force lightning design system lds and enabled for users sub products and you see also the description here and that's really awesome so i didn't know this guys and there is no reason not to know it yeah please know this one and then make a benefit of it yeah after this feature matrix i think i can directly show you this salesforce plus platform and here it is so at my job i watched i think many of them and it's a live sessions i can show it to you for example developer preview winter 25 
and if you go to this one yeah value. you see those are the product owners like the, this lady is product owner i think of uh, agent force and really got pop popular yeah, during during these i think sessions and also uh, you know this dream force and uh, it is where just um, many product owners and many successful stories or many updates the first i think sessions there so i think after it those sessions also happens but the first the first imp information comes at this dream force another really important uh, site that i learned is trust here you can check uh, with your instance name you can put your work reference name here and then you can simply check all the dates like when this winter 25 came what was the date for for the update to my org specifically and you can also check that when sp spring 25 will come to your either sandbox or your prod environment you can check everything from here and that's really, I think, uh, awesome, awesome to know this information or such site exists. Next update is, I just figured out this one. I didn't know it beforehand, but I think that would be useful because like here for the winter 25, you can see all the dates and then you can add this to your Google calendar. So, and you can put there as a reminder, right? And then you can get informed uh, in advance of those dates, I think that could be really nice. Yeah, I think more or less I covered the topics that I wanted to just show. And for those links, I can add them to the description. But please, please, if you would like to just hear more, the most important thing for a content creator is the feedback, guys. If you really like it, please like it. If you uh, want this one to spread around, just please spread it around, yeah? And let your friends and colleagues know this and also help them to spread the knowledge, yeah? We don't lose anything when we spread the knowledge. So subscribe, like, and then support. And have a nice day and then see you at the next, next update.